What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we about to go over an insane stub method. Shout out to the gray area. He told me to do this video only based on the all-star card. So I'm gonna show you how to be smart and work the market. Also, we're gonna give a big shout out to the MVPs. We're gonna start off with Tay Jordan, Emilio Panita, and Antonio McLaughlin. If you wanna get a shout out, and you rocking with me and you want to become an MVP, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with your notifications on and then you can follow me for free, either Twitter or Instagram. Once we get to 9,000 subscribers, big giveaway. Once we get to 1,000 Twitter followers, even bigger giveaway. Let's get into today's stub method and today's bang. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so I'm gonna start off with only 20,000 stubs just to show you how easy and effective this is. So we're gonna go right here to filters and because you need a lot of these cards, we're gonna go to 95 overall and then home run derby. You need a lot of these for the collections. Right here, we only got 20,000, so we can only do it one at a time. The more stubs that you have, the better for you. So I wanna do it 20,000 so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I can't go in my binder. I can sell off some cards. I have about 400,000, but for right here, we're gonna buy Otani. Okay, so we're gonna go 11, nine zero five that's a good price a couple stubs over so somebody just bought two of them for even more and then on the left hand side somebody took the buy now down to 399 it's two of them four of them before we get back to a good price now in the right hand corner you can see I bought the old tiny for 11,905. So it's still a 2,000 gap, but because the buy now price is 1,003,999, it's a less profit. I want to stay between 900 stubs per flip and 1,200 stubs per flip. So if you was to put in four old tinies right now, and make that 900 profit, that's about 4,000 stubs you would make in about two minutes, and then you go back and forth between another card. All right, so now that I was a little bit patient, Otani got back up to the price that I wanted, back over the 14,200. So remember, the price that I bought him for and the price that he's at right now, so we're gonna go right here to sell order. Make sure that you're doing the right thing so you don't lose stubs, we'll do 248, and now we're gonna drop the price back down. So 14, 248, two people undercut that price, but I'm not worried about it. So you just sit back again and you be patient. Now, the more stubs that you have to work with, the more people you can do. So over there, Perez and Shohei Otani, and then Matt Olsen, this is 2,500 gap. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. So we can go right here to buy. We can do 12,004, and then we have to be patient. So he sold to me instantly. So the more stubs you have, the faster the process will go. Being that I only started with barely any stubs, you have to do it slower. You have to buy the card, you have to be smart, you have to wait for the market to inflate. But if you have 50,000 stubs at least to start off, you can easily walk away with over 200,000 stubs. The market is gonna fluctuate. Every time you see the gaps, just like you see right now, 2,200 stubs in between, right here, 2,000 stubs in between, another 1,900 stubs in between. These are all very, very good prices. So right here, this Matt Olsen we bought for 12,004. So it's even cheaper than right here. So now we can turn around and sell him while the price is going up and down. So 14,080, I wanna put him a little higher. So I would do 14,150. Okay, so I will get 12,735 stubs back. That's over a 700 profit. And then I will put them up there and be patient. As you can see, my stubs are all the way up to 19,000. Now that the other people are starting to sell all over again. And then I still have this one that's gonna sell and bring me another 12,000. So we sitting at about nine to 12,000 profit already in a waiting game of about six to seven minutes okay so now that we do have the 19,000 every time I back out more cards will come back to me now that we do have the 19,000 you can rinse and repeat do the same process all over again look for the good gaps so Matt Olsen just sold right there so right here we just looking for that gap again another Matt Olsen 12051 that's another 2,000 gap they're gonna take 1,400 off that's not the gap that you want you want 750 850 up to a thousand gap so right here 2700 gap 
That's good enough for me. 12,100, that's 2,500, okay? So we're gonna buy them real fast before it changed. 12, one, zero, two. We're gonna buy that, boom. So we got 12, one, zero, two. It's one, two, three, four cards in front of me. I'm up to 20,000, plus I'm buying that card. Once I buy that card and then resell the card, in about six and a half minutes on the market, I made over 10,000 stubs and you can't lose as long as you keep that gap in between you can see it's constantly fluctuating this is a 2200 gap you could have bought the card when it was lower and then you just wait for the gap to go back up so if you see a gap if you see 12,000 12,080 12,090 go buy you five six or seven of them the market it might look like it's only 13,000 14,000 just wait in about 10 to 15 minutes, it will get back right here. This is the selling point. 14444, 14099, 14022. This is the selling point that you want. You want to buy them at 12,100, 12,000 on the dot, or in the 11,000s. If y'all enjoyed the video, if y'all enjoyed this stub method, drop a like on the video. Go ahead, take your 50,000 to start off with, and walk away with 200,000 stubs plus. It's all love. Let's get it.